This is how you know that Marvel Comics is literally running out of ideas. (laughs) They just throw things at a wall and see if it sticks, or they go back to the well. Like X-Men, Days of Future Past, Doomsday. If you've never read the original Days of Future Past, you should. That entire run of Claremont actually is amazing stuff, but this is one of the better stories. I'm sure you're somewhat familiar with it. But this is a prequel to Days of Future Past, which I'm not interested in. I'd, I'd rather them just not do this, even though this cover looks pretty cool. I will say that this cover is pretty cool, but this is supposed to be an earlier part of that timeline, and I'm sure they'll do something really weird with it, and it's not going to be very good. That is apparently canon, but it's not going to be canon to me. I'm telling you that right now. Going back to the well. Trying to capitalize on shit from decades ago that eclipses everything that they've done <laughs> over the past 20 years. So that is a segue into something else because there's not really much going on at Marvel that nothing really sells other than Spider Man. This sells big bucks. And they continue just trying to make. New characters that are based on Spider-Man and his powers. Totally not understanding the value of Peter Parker and what makes him special. No, they just think that they can take those powers and give them to a character and that's automatically going to make that character a special or something. So we've got this coming out. This Spider-Man sidekick. Now this is what's funny. So this is Spider-Boy. Let me show you what he looks like. So this is this new Beyond the Spider-Verse storyline or whatever it is in the Spider-Man comic. Not to be confused with the Amazing Spider-Man comic, which is written by Zeb Wells, a She-Hulk writer. In case you didn't know who that was. (laughs) He writes, he wrote for She-Hulk. But he's not writing this. This is Dan Slott. Super woke Dan Slott. I've done plenty of videos on him. Former Spider-Man ASM writer. Uh, He's been writing this. He's come back because he's obsessed with being the guy who's written the most Spider-Man comics. He's written the most, but he doesn't have the quality. He really has no big key moments for the character under him that really matter other than making the Spider-Verse, which is a ripoff of something from the 90s cartoon. I'm just saying, this is the truth. So they did another spider event, and let me tell you what this character's premise is. So during this event, there was the this villain, I don't know who she was, some weird, ugly spider, like, monster. And if she stabbed you, you'd be erased from time. Okay, it's funny, they erased Peter Parker during this, and then Silk was the true, Silk, his rip-off counterpart, is is now the real chosen one. It's it's such an insult, but I, I didn't make a video on that. I'm making a video on this because this is truly a giant ripoff of the century. And why is that? Well, this character was erased from time, and they're messing with continuity, and they're saying that this is Peter Parker's long-lost sidekick. Uh, he's their long-lost sidekick. He's been erased for so long, everybody forgot who he is. Everybody forgot who he is, including Miles, who's only been a part of the continuity for a little while now, so that doesn't make any sense. So he's a character that's been around since, they haven't exactly said, but I'm going to guess, you know, the Silver Age. And this character has has always been Peter Parker's sidekick. He's the Spider-Boy and Spider-Man. It's kind of funny that they've made a thousand different ripoffs of Peter Parker and never made a spider boy, but here he is. So in case you didn't know, that's exactly what happened with the century. The century was forgotten by everybody. And he's like a Superman kind of ripoff, but he has his own kind of twist to where he has this evil inside of him and the evil becomes the void and the void is really scary and they don't want the void to ruin everybody. I don't remember the exact details of all of this. It's been a long time since I've read it, but the premise is that the century 
was erased throughout time, and everybody knew him, and he had all these adventures with the Fantastic Four and the Avengers, and everyone forgot. That's basically what this character is. This is a complete ripoff. The House of Ideas, they just rip off their own shit now. The reason I'm talking about this is I guess everyone's going crazy for this comic that came out today, and it's, like, worth $20 for some reason. Like, this character's ever going to be used in anything. This is the height of Marvel Comics now, just making Spider-Man characters left and right and ripping off the Sentry. They're <laughs> ripping themselves off. And what's funny is they're ripping off more of a modern Marvel character. I don't remember when he was when he was debuted. I want to say, do they have it in here? July 2000, Sentry number one. The Sentry is actually kind of an interesting character, to be honest. Uh, he... Uh, the, his his battle with the void, which is like a split personality of him or something, and you know, it would have been interesting if he's the only character that's ever done this. But now you have Dan Slott basically ripping off someone else's work again because he ripped off the '90s cartoon for the Spider Verse. So now he's ripping off the Century for this garbage-looking discount Spider Man. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. What do you think about the House of Ideas over at Marvel with this great creation? What are your thoughts on this? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.